Uh, good day all. Uh, today I will just share with you the target uh, uh, for the raid. And uh, this is the build I have for my uh, fleet. Still uh, the flag in U2. The rest of the ship are uh, U3. Uh, I'm not using any gale on my fleets. Uh, as the strategy guide was showing that uh, the drones and uh, uh, the ships and the target uh, are either connective or rockets. And the gale, it's according to information on the data. Uh, It's not easy to search for it. Try to find it. Yeah, if I go over here to the information that that the, the, the countermeasure system it's working only for mortars and UEV, while that uh, strategy guide that it was showing that uh, uh, the ship itself. Uh, it's rockets, it's not really a mortars, not even a UAV. So uh, I'm not sure in any how I have seen the video from others player that it's showing that it's 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 working, it's doing some 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 counter countermeasure. Uh, anyway, uh, I don't have any gale in my, my fleets. Uh, I have only the anti-torpedo uh, countermeasure. I'm missing here one armor, but I will add it later. So I just don't have the times and the tokens to do it, so I will do it later. Uh, the other ships, it have a mix between four armors and and two uh, and three armors. I was managing to add some of the ships by using the tokens. Uh, the rest of the ship have the same build and uh, uh, U3 upgrade. So the uh, previous one was four. This one, three armors, uh, two by two it was and still I need to add one here it's two uh, connective and one uh, explosive the same build and this is the last ship it's four two by two and uh, uh, three uh, anti I think I will have only two uh, I think two so ten in totals it will be more than enough uh, later uh, I will do the upgrade so right now we are in uh, U3 all of them and I'm using the sea serpent crew, but you also you can use the steel head, all the uh, the squad, which is the demolition squad. So uh, let's go and see a target. The main things on the drones, which is having the rockets, just only to ha keep moving on in in, in a straight mood, move. Uh, do not have a sudden turn. Uh, to avoid getting hit uh, by the rocket itself or to avoid explosive explosive damage still the explosive damage it's uh, from the drone it's not high but it will give you some repair time so uh, try to avoid it uh, and just searching for a target So the best entry that I have found, it's uh, from 2 o'clock. Just try to be behind the cloud for a bit.
So as you can see, I was trying to keep moving in a straight mode. And um, when I was trying to turn, I need to be in the safe zone to have the turn. And for these drones, you can just try to uh, hit them from a distance. Once you have a gap, you just try to kill the big ship. Once they kill ship, all the drones will be has been uh, moved. And now to kill that ship over here or these parts over here, I'll try to be in the center. And once it's activated, they will chase me. But as you can see, the drones will be blown out by the cloud. So I'm using the cloud to get uh, a gap. Now I keep moving in a straight move. And here is the target. As you can see, the damage is very low. So uh, if you have a bad move, bad uh, turn, especially with the, for the rockets, then you need to go to the base and do the, uh, you can see it's really, I didn't take any, just only evade it. So it's six minutes. Um, getting on on that so you most of the time it's in in map repair but sometimes you are getting a uh, base repair so I'm just only sharing with you that the way that I do it just only to understand where is the the, the damage that you are getting uh, from the target itself so just only try to avoid the the sudden sudden turn keep uh, uh, moving in, in a straight uh, move to avoid uh, getting hit from the rockets uh, so don't make any sudden uh, turn. Uh, the other part, it will be to have uh, the cloud to uh, use them to reduce the drones or give, give make the timing. If I add the armors, I think my result will be much more better. But so far, it's uh, free. And I'm sharing this one for... So you don't need to refit. If you if you already refit your fleets, uh, that's fine. Uh, but I'm just trying to maybe you'll be having a better results by understanding the target itself. So this is the 101. Uh, for the 100, the advice I give always that you can do the 100 uh, in auto. Uh, of course, the damage you are getting, you will find it that it's it's a little bit high. But you can do some sets on the morning before you are going to the work and some sets you can do it in the evening and while you are playing on the uh, your free times you can do some 101 in this way that you can catch up the time and you'll be having a better result by the end of the raid
the main things over here is just only to understand the principles. Uh, if you avoid the, the cloud and you keep uh, away from the sudden turn uh, with the rocket part, uh, you will be having a very good results. Uh, there is no uh, many maneuver on the target itself, honestly, because each time that you will be having a small uh, step, especially in the 101, because you cannot predict uh, uh the other drone when where they are going to launch and the quantity of the drone are too much uh so avoid the sudden turn and this is the advice i'm giving i hope this will be helping you all and thank you for watching